What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 9 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're just being asked to find which choice is both the square of an integer and the cube of an integer. And so, to do a question like this, I just need to know what square numbers are and what cube numbers are. So let's talk about each of those. The idea of a square number is that we take a number and multiply it by itself. So the same number would go in both of these blanks. The cube is a little trickier. We multiply the same thing by itself three times. And we call this a square number because if I drew a square where one side was, for instance, 3 and the other side was 3, I would be able to multiply 3 times 3 to get the area of my square. And we call this a cube number because if I drew a cube that's very poorly drawn, but I had a length of 3, a width of 3, and a height of 3, I would multiply 3 by itself 3 times to get the volume of this cube. Let me scoot that over so it's more visible. Length, width, and height, 3 times 3 times 3. That's how we get this word cube. So let's go ahead and find some square numbers and cube numbers. If I want to find the square of 1, that's 1 times 1, which is just 1. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. Hey, that's one of my answer choices. Just because it's the first one I find, though, doesn't mean it's the right answer. And 5, 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 8 is 64. 9 times 9 is 80. And 81. Don't know why I did that. Probably because I was preparing to write zeros for 10 times 10, which is 100. So the square numbers go 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. And now for cube numbers, it works the same way, except I'm going to multiply the number by itself three times. So 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is like 4 times 2, which is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is like 9 times 3, which is 27. 4 times 4 times 4 is like 16 times 4, which is 64. And then 5 times 5 times 5 is like 25 times 5, which will get us 125. So now that I have some square numbers and some cube numbers, I just need to figure out if any of my answer choices shows up in both my square numbers and my cube numbers. Oh, well, here's one already. 1 is a square number and 1 is a cube number, but it's not one of our answer choices. Shoot. Uh, next one that I can see that shows up both places is 64, which is 8 squared, and also 4 cubed. And that's my answer. 64 showed up in the, my list of square numbers and my list of cube numbers, so it's going to be my answer, 64C.